Hello, everyone. Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I glorify you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you, Father God, for being our companion and our guide. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Father, because of the work that Jesus did on the cross so many years ago. We glorify your holy name because we have salvation. We have forgiveness of our sins. We have hope that comes in you. We glorify you, Lord, for the work of your Son. Help us, Father God, to never take for granted that work that you did. Help us to be mindful of what we say, what we do, what we think, what we feel. Help us, Father, to strive to please you in every way and not sin against you. O oh Lord, we glorify you and we worship you. I ask that you will be with this devotional today. You know what our hearts need. You know what our souls need. So, Lord, open up our spiritual eyes and ears for what you have in store for us. I thank you so much for all of the hands that cooperate to bring this devotional in English, Father God. I bless your holy name because you have your eyes upon our English speakers and you care for us. Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, He Will Save His People From Their Sins. It was written by Lissy Fuentes and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Romans 6, 11 through 14. So says the word of God. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey him in its lust. And do not present your members as instruments of your unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. A soldier who always carried the Bible between a bulletproof vest and his chest was shot by a sharpshooter. The bullet passed the bulletproof vest, but remained embedded in the Bible. This soldier testifies that God saved his life and his gratitude has no limits. How much more grateful are we who were delivered from the wrath that will come upon the children of disobedience, who are saved from the terrible condemnation of sin. But the greatest triumph is that the Lord has saved us from our sins. What a glorious and blessed deliverance. Jesus Christ carrying out his redemptive work, freeing us from the bondage of sin, casting Satan out of our lives where he can no longer reign. It is true that sin will always be in us until we reach eternal glory, but it will not have dominion over us if we are true children of God. There will be a struggle of the flesh against the spirit, but Jesus Christ will win because he is the Lord of our hearts. If we don't dominate sin, if our life is not holy, if the heart has not been changed, then we have not been saved. The grace of Jesus Christ sanctifies us, renews us, and transforms us to the point of being born again. Hating sin and loving holiness because without holiness, no one will see the Lord. And let everyone who calls on the name of Christ depart from iniquity. If we do not turn away from sin, how can we belong to his people? Amen. My brothers and sisters, once we accept Christ into our hearts, once we ask him to be our savior and to forgive us of all of our sins, he will start to transform us and renew us. But we have a part to do as well. We have to obey his word. We have to obey his prompting and the things that he is convicting us of. 
We cannot merely sit back and be complacent for the things from that we were doing before. We have to make the decisions to allow the Holy Spirit to make the changes and to make the changes in our lives. My brothers and sisters, God's mercy endures forever and his grace is upon us, but it doesn't stop there. One step at a time, we have to allow the Holy Spirit to make changes in our lives. We have to behave differently, talk differently, dress differently. Our entire being will change, and that is the transformation of the Holy Spirit. He will save people from their sins who ask to be saved, who accept his salvation. My brothers and sisters, accept his salvation today in your life. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. And now we invite you once again to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.